the weather has been raining non-stop right through. So, yeah. tea this morning i'm having one of this caribbean tea flavors this is a breakfast tea i did haul this in one of my random hauls which you guys will see it was 12 dollars at the grocery up by me i bought two so this one is a breakfast tea and there is the mango tea but i want to try the breakfast tea so as i told you guys it was 12 dollars and you get 20 tea bags and it is a selection of the finest black teas okay this is a little packaging guys i completely forget that i was recording while doing that whole tea situation i end up getting on call so yeah i end up cutting the video short which i'm very sorry but the tea tastes just like a regular black tea i mean 12 dollars you can't really go wrong and you get 20 tea bags and it tastes like a a regular black tea if you had black tea before you know what i i'm talking about you know the taste it wasn't like any special taste beside the fact that it tastes like a black tea i haven't tried the mango one as yet and whenever i try the mango i'll definitely keep you guys posted and let you know but yeah i i just needed to come on here <laughs> and tell you guys so let's go on to the next clip Alright guys, so it's several hours later, it's about 1 o'clock right now, and I'm now going to have some lunch. So I'm going to have some chicken tenders, fries, and salad, but while I'm eating, just want to chat with you guys a little bit, right? Well, some people genuinely like want to know, like, you know, when you're going to get pregnant, or if you plan on having a baby i know there is the people that genuinely want to find out this stuff and it's okay it's okay to ask it's another thing to you know assume that somebody cannot have um children just because they've been together for so long right i just want to make this clear to my viewers and to my new viewers who are watching my name is stephanie i am married my husband and I have been married this year in December. It's actually going to make it seven years since we've been married, okay? And it's our decision when we are ready to have a child. And I don't think it's anybody's business if we have a child or not. Like, that is our personal business. Now is such a different time to long-time days. Millennials nowadays don't think about children like that's just the time that we're living in you understand why when a person get married after like two or three months or even a year when you meet them you'll be like um so when you're having a child why don't you ask us okay so what are you doing how is your career what are your future goals as you know as individuals why is the first thing that comes to mind is when you're gonna have a child when you're gonna make a child well when you can't make a child you're barren guys people need to think and understand that you can't go around asking stupid questions you know as i said there are genuine people who want to genuinely find out and you will know the genuine ones you can't just assume just because somebody don't have a child and they've been together for so long they can't have children you know you just assume the worst it don't work like that you hate when people when people don't see you for so long and they go um so what and you make a child as yet like like if making a child is something that she's going to pick up in the grocery. Please guys, if you all do this, stop asking people if you're making a child. Because you don't know what that individual is going through, right? Like in my case, when people ask me that, I just be like, whoever. But you don't know somebody else. Somebody else could be struggling to conceive and you be asking stupid questions like that, right? How do you think you're going to make the other person feel? So instead of asking them when you're going to have a child, ask them how was the day, how they're dealing with this COVID situation, what's their future plans? Because now we live in a day and age that, you know, getting married and making children is not the new thing. Like, I'm sorry to say, like, women now want to be independent. And we need to normalize having children after the age of 30. And stop telling women that their time is coming close. Like, as you reach 30, the time is ticking and you're getting older. 
we need to stop that because we live in a time where technology and medicine is available to us and if we want to conceive in our 40s and 50s i'm sure with the right doctors we can and it's been proven i read this article where this mother of 70 years carried her child child so just stop assuming the word I always say it's not nobody's business. Whenever Dean and I choose to have a child, that's our business because at the end of the day, nobody not gonna mind your child. We had to say about our child. So that shouldn't be your business whether we having children or not, if you understand, right? So stop asking stupid questions and stop assuming the worst. Live in a different time. Women want to be independent just as men. And I see nothing wrong with that. And I see nothing wrong with having a child in your late 30s, late 40s, late 50s, so be it late 60s. What is the problem? What is the problem? Anyways, guys, that's my little two cents on that. I'm going to eat my food because I realize I can't do mukbang. I can't eat and talk. <laughs> so I'm going to eat my food. I'm going to catch you guys in a little bit. It's been raining whole morning. And I've been doing nothing beside watching, beside watching Netflix. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, it's been a few hours since that last clip and oh my God, I didn't really do anything. I haven't moved. I mean, I moved from the couch, <laughs> but like I just been watching Netflix whole day because it's been raining. Let me know what you guys think about my little rant right let me let me know if you guys agree with me or you don't agree with me or you, whenever is your time is your time you know and if you choose not to i mean what's the problem like oh gosh people i i can't understand people but they just drain my energy and i'm not about that so yeah i really had to get that off my chest today because you know something was said to me and it had me boiling and i'm not one to like you know blast people unless like you know i really reach my point of blasting <laughs> but that's not in my nature so hopefully they see this and get the message but yeah anyways guys um so for dinner tonight i had a really full lunch i'm still full and i had that lunch around for uh, one o'clock and it's about four o'clock right now so my belly is full i'm gonna drink some hot chocolate and just chill and for dinner i made some fried chicken for dean but your girl is good i would see you guys in the next clip which is tomorrow for me but the next clip for you so bye guys Hey guys, good morning. It is a continuation of the weekend vlog, so it's Saturday morning right now. I'm heading down to the goat man on the link up. <laughs> I'm gonna get some fresh goat meat and some roast goat. If you guys ever had roast goat, let me know. Um, but if you haven't tried it, definitely try it. It's super good and it is different from it still tastes like gold but it's a different taste so that's the vibe for today we're gonna head down and get that as i said with all my weekend vlogs i don't know easy plan because i mean no way in open so you know yeah i hope everyone is doing well and keeping safe and i'll see you guys later on in the vlog
Yes. Hello, everyone. <laughs> well, my daughter and son-in-law is here. And I will be short. And, well, my husband, he just want to be noticed in the background. Just flash him there. He's a bit jealous when he doesn't get the camera on him. To say hello, I late. Everyone out there, keep safe. Mass up. Sanitize. Mm -hmm. and, and like, subscribe. And comment. And comment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah people. You call it time, right? <laughs> Big boss is here. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just not too long left for my mom and we are heading back up the road. We just stopped to get some chicken for you know during the week. Tomorrow we might cook a roast goat and bus up shot or something. But yeah. I wanted to go to the Chinese grocery in the south that sells all the ramen and stuff, but we have all this meat in the back so we couldn't like you know drive around with this. We had to get it to the fridge. Yeah, so we didn't want to like, you know, risk it. So maybe during the week, I'll take a trip down by myself and head down and check it out. I'm just going to head back home. I have a ton of laundry to do. Yesterday, I didn't do laundry. So I'm going to get started on laundry. The weather is pretty um, nice. It's not sunny and it's not overcast. It's like, you know, in between. So it's like good weather. That's about it, guys. So I'll see you later for lunch. My mother-in-law, she actually made pigtail soup but i don't eat pigtail um i don't eat pork but i do drink the sauce if it doesn't taste piggy so i'll taste it and if it tastes like piggy i would need to but if it's not like you know piggy <laughs> i know this is so weird then i'll drink some of the sauce other than that i'll make some like ramen or something for me but yeah for dinner i'm not quite sure what we have for dinner but yeah, that's basically the vibe. A very eventful morning. It's about what's the time? Maybe like 12 right now? Or half 11. It's half 11. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Guys, check out my little cayenne tree. Remember, I had showed you when I had now bought it. So we have one pepper, two pepper, three pepper. Oh, this one was the first one that I got on the tree and it dried and never picked it but so I have four peppers on the tree oh my goodness this is the lavender my mint something is happening here I don't understand kind of dying I prune it I'm trying to shape it back I really don't know what's going on here really don't know this is the orange mint and the fix here the pineapple mint is kind of struggling as you can see there but yeah
Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday and I am now going to have some lunch. This mask is so freaking tight. Like, look at that. <laughs> I can't even take myself serious. Oh my god. Okay, guys, so I think I'll end the weekend vlog here. I just wash off the face mask. It's a mud face mask, and you guys seen in the last clip, like, I literally couldn't speak or couldn't move my face. So yeah, I wash it off and I just put on some eye cream and um, some retinol on my face, lip balm, and that's it. Skin is nice and clean. I need a facial, like a deep cleanse facial. So like, you know, I could do it myself, but like I like to go and be pampered now. So like a low-key waiting on Mr. Rowley to, you know, open up these spas. So sis could go and get a whole facial, a whole pedicure. A whole body massage, everything. But here I want to open up the place, so <laughs> I just be doing my own thing at home. So guys, thank you so much for spending this weekend with me. We didn't do much today. We cook, we eat, watch a lot of TV, and just chill out. So the rose goat tastes best. And for dinner, we just had some homemade bread that I made and scrambled eggs, which was delicious. So I am going to iron. It's about 8 o'clock right now. I'm going to end the vlog here. Get this video edited for you guys tomorrow. And yeah. See you guys in my next video which will be on Tuesday. Until then, don't forget to stay blessed. Stay safe. Bye guys. Bye.